all right all right welcome to Bikas web channel my name is Bikas and I'm here back again with another video so this time we will do some custom hooks in react okay in react there are a lot of hooks but this time we are just going to create our own very first custom hook so if that's what you are looking for and that's why you click this video then smash the like button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed this channel already smash the subscribe button as well as hit the bell notification icon that way whenever i upload new videos you will be the first person getting notified that being said let's start today's video all right so let's first create our react application and nowadays i create a react application with a vite so instead of create react app i use this and create vite and then you can see it will ask us the project name so we can give the project name and in this case it will be react custom hooks and then we can choose what type of project we want in our case this is going to be react and then we will be doing it in react typescript let's just go and you can see we already have it there and then let's go inside uh, this folder and then i will do an install and here we are everything is installed now let's go and open this in vs code so i will just do code dot all right so here we are inside our uh, project folder in vs uh, code and here this looks almost identical to how it used to be with a create react application and then i'm going to see what is it so it is uh, dave okay so i can do yarn run dev okay so now we have this port here so let's go and let's uh, enter this port here and you can see we already have this and then you have this uh, working counter here however uh, we are dealing with custom hooks so we will be deleting everything else that we don't need so i will start from index css and then i will also delete uh, these assets all right so here we have uh, our previously started react project and now before we jump into uh, creating any custom hooks first of all let's try to understand why do we need custom hooks well to give you uh, the idea let's first start uh, something to call api so let's say there is an api call that we need to do and also you can do this in your state management such as mobax redux and so on however in simple cases maybe you are not using any state management in that case how we would do let's say we have to do's and i will also say set to do's and then that will come from react and then it will be use state and initially this is empty okay and then let's go to some um, so here we have our fake application and we go inside to do and to do has this kind of thing so we can define that type anyway let's copy this so let's say somewhere here we have react use effect and then inside here I can say that fits this if that's the case then we will have dot then and also we will have dot cats however inside dot then here we will have something called response and then we'll do rest.json this will be a promise and then if this is the case if this is the case then we will do another then and then we will get our data and I will just do console log data so you see what we are talking about and you can see we are getting all the to-dos list all right so this is good let's also define to-do type here type to-do type okay so this is a to-do type and let's let's use this because we will need this anyway so it will be array of to-do type all right so instead of console logging something here what we can do is we can actually do set to do's and then give the data all right so now we have uh, data and in case of this if we want and then we can actually map this data so we can do to do's dot map and then it will give us to do and then here what we can do is we can have a p tag here give it the key and in this case the key will be id 
and then not id it will be to do dot id and then here we'll just do to do dot title okay so now if we were to go here you can see that we have all this to do data all right until now it's just a react hook and we haven't done anything with custom hooks but now here is the question imagine you need to do exact same thing of fetching uh, this url this data from the same url or it can be also different url and then you need to uh, use this uh, same kind of logic in multiple places how would you do it well if you have a state management like redux or mobax or just stand or recoil or something else then you will do this in that kind of places or you will even have a different kind of services and so on to call your api and everything and you will do it there mm -hmm. i have different videos doing those so you can check it out from my channel however in case of simple project but still you have to use this multiple time in that case I would suggest to make this in a custom hook and that's what we will be doing so let's go here and then what i will call i will call this folder hooks and then here i will create a new custom hook and that is called use pets you can give any name you as you want however it's a practice that for react hooks uh, everything starts with this use and then page is just because we want to page it so i have something like that and then all I do is I will just have something like this. I can even say TSX or TS. Let's see how we go with. I think I want to do something like this. So we have this and then we will do almost the same type of things like what we were doing. So instead of taking things from here, we can even export it. We can even keep it in a separate type uh, folder. However, I will cut it from here. And then I will do a couple of things. First of all, I will use state and then I will also use effect from react. And then I have this. I will actually export this type from here if we need to use it somewhere else. And then what I want to do is actually I want to copy this exactly from here and then I will do a function here called whatever the name of it is it use page that's what we have given it will take URL and that will be string because we need a URL to page something and then we will also return something so our returning will be to do types array either we will return that or if we don't have anything we may even return null and then here inside we will do something like this so to do's set to do's so you can see that everything is almost identical except i'll just remove this from here and then i will do null and we actually don't need this and also here we don't need this because we have already imported so we have copied uh, things from there and we have something here and okay so we will we'll, we'll talk about this later so we have now uh, to do's or actually we should not call this even to do's we can call it set data and then even call it set data and then here instead of this we will use the url we go we get it from the props or the argument and then all we are doing is we are just basically we are doing the same thing that we were doing earlier and here we also will have dependency that is url because every time url changes we want this use effect to run and we want this to paste again the new data and then set it okay and well in our case we have console log error additionally we can even pass error we don't want that so then what we want here is we will just return in this kind of format data all right and then if we go down here we can say export default 
all right we have our first custom hook here and you can give the name anything you want however uh, using this use is what a best practice and anyone who will read your code can understand that this is a hook okay and we are internally using react's uh, hook so use the state and use effect and that way it will actually uh, give us a re re-render data and also every time our dependency in this case url changes it will recalculate and then it will set the data so that way we'll have this benefit so that our component can actually re-render all right and then we are returning the data we are also saying here null just in case if initially we have this and somehow this doesn't run or there is some problem then we are getting null back so that's the case and now if we go back here instead of doing all those all we can do is i can say const to do's and that will be we'll do use pets and then it will expect url and that url will be whatever the url we were using earlier this one and then to do's can be null so we can also give that boolean to do's dot length if if that's the case and if there is to do's then please do this so now if we go here and if we refresh you can see that you have exactly the same data but this is coming from this and now if you want you can also change this with different kind of approach for example if you have uh, some sort of input field and you are taking input from there you can do that and also let's say if you have another component so for example let's say here components and then here let's say we have example component and then if you want to do something here then also you can just say const and then you can say to do's and then you can just say use pets and then you can pass the same or different kind of url here and you can assess the to do's here all right this was the very first custom hook in this channel and i hope now you understand the concept of custom hook why we need it what are the benefits it is and how easy it is actually to set up. I hope today's video was useful for you and definitely help you understanding custom hook. If you agree, then smash the like button. If you are new to channel or if you haven't subscribed channel already, subscribe my channel as well as you can follow me on Instagram because I post reels and shorts regularly. And if you have any comments, please feel free to comment me out. Also reach me out in LinkedIn and I will definitely see you in next video. Until then, keep coding. Bye-bye.